Welcome to Back on the Stack, a CEDH podcast. Tonight we want to bring you another CEDH gameplay video. Let's get right into it and see what decks are being piloted tonight. Going first, we have Rage piloting Tivit, Seller of Secrets. For his opening hand, he kept Savine's Reclamation, Cyber Conversion, Lotus Petal, Grim Monolith, Scalding Tarn, a Basic Island, and a Windswept Heath. Second, we have Eli piloting Najila, the Blade Blossom. For his opening hand, he kept a Savannah, Mox Diamond, Jeweled Lotus, Mana Vault, Eladomri's Call, Force of Will, and his one London Mulligan was a Snap. Thirdly, we have Levi piloting Omnath, Locus of Creation. For his opening hand, he kept Besaja Who Endures, Bloodstained Mire, Misty Rainforest, Chain of Vapor, Dockside Extortionist, Eldric Evolution, and his one London Mulligan was a Lightning Bolt. In fourth seat, we have J-Rock piloting Timna Krom. For his opening hand, he kept Scalding Tarn, Tundra, Thassa's Oracle, Demonic Consultation, Ranger Captain of Eos, and his two London Mulligans were Orcish Bowmasters and Steam Vents. With introductions out of the way, Rage will kick us off. He draws and plays a Scalding Tarn for turn. He taps it, pays one life, and fetches up a Tundra onto the battlefield. He casts a Lotus Petal. He passes his turn. Eli draws and casts a Jeweled Lotus. He taps it, sacks it, and adds three red, and casts his commander, Najila. He casts a Mox Diamond. In response, Rage cracks his Lotus Petal for a blue, taps his land, and casts his Cyber Conversion, targeting Najila. It resolves and Najila is turned to do a 2-2, face down, Cyberman artifact creature. With Mox Diamond back on the stack, it resolves and Eli discards a Savannah. He then taps the diamond to cast a Mana Vault. Eli passes his turn. Levi draws and plays a Misty Rainforest. He taps it, pays one life, and fetches up a Tropical Island onto the battlefield. He passes his turn. J-Rock draws and plays a Scalding Tarn. He taps it, pays one life, and fetches up an Underground Sea onto the battlefield. He passes his turn. Rage draws and plays a Morphic Pool for turn. He casts a Chrome Mox. It ETBs and he exiles a Savine's Reclamation. He casts a Grim Monolith. He passes his turn. Eli draws and plays a Windswept Heath for turn. He moves to combat and swings his face down commander at Rage. Rage declares no blocks and takes two commander damage. He taps Windswept Heath, pays one life, sacks it and fetches up a Scrubland onto the battlefield. He passes his turn. Levi draws and plays a Bloodstained Mire for turn. He taps it, pays one life, and fetches up a Taiga onto the battlefield. He casts a Dockside Extortionist. It enters and Levi creates five treasures. He passes his turn. J-Rock draws and plays a Flooded Strand for turn. He taps it, pays one life, and fetches up a Scrubland onto the battlefield. He passes his turn. Rage draws and plays a Windswept Heath for turn. He taps it, pays one life, and fetches up a Scrubland onto the battlefield. He casts his commander, Tivit. It ETBs and Rage votes to give himself two treasures. Eli and Levi vote Clue and J-Rock votes Treasure. Rage attempts to pass his turn, but in response, Eli casts an Eladomri's Call. In response to that, Levi casts a Chain of Vapor, targeting his own Dockside. He continues the chain by sacrificing his Taiga, targeting Tivit. Tivit's ward goes on the stack and Levi pays it by sacrificing three treasures. In response, Rage cracks one of his clues and draws a card. It resolves and Rage chooses to not continue the chain. Eladomri's call resolves and Eli tutors up a Ledger Shredder into hand. The turn then moves to Eli. Eli untaps, draws, and casts a Ledger Shredder. He moves to combat and swings his face down commander at Rage. He takes two more commander damage, and Eli passes the turn. Levi draws and casts a Dockside Extortionist again. It enters and he creates eight treasures. He plays a Polluted Delta for turn. He taps it, pays one life, and fetches up a Tundra onto the battlefield. He casts a Neoform, sacrificing Dockside as an additional cost. Ledger Shredder triggers and Eli connives an LED into his graveyard, giving Ledger Shredder a 1-1 counter. Neoform resolves and Levi tutors up an Eternal Witness onto the battlefield. It ETBs and he returns Dockside back to his hand. He recasts Dockside and creates 8 more treasures. He casts an Eldric Evolution, sacrificing Eternal Witness as an additional cost. In response, Rage cracks both his treasures to crack a clue and draw a card. Still in response, Eli casts a Force of Will for its alternative casting cost, losing 1 life and exiling a Snap, targeting Eldric Evolution. It resolves and Levi's win attempt is stopped. He casts his commander, Omnath. It enters, and Levi draws a card, passing the turn. J-Rock draws and plays a Tundra. He casts a Ranger Captain of Eos. It enters, and J-Rock tutors up an Esper Sentinel into his hand. He passes his turn. Rage draws and plays an Island. He casts Lotho, Corrupt Sheriff. He casts a Talisman of Progress. Ledger Shredder and Lotho both trigger. 
Eli connives a silence into his graveyard, giving Ledger Shredder another counter. Rage loses one life and creates a treasure token. Rage then plays a counterbalance. In response, Levi flashes in an Archivist of Agma. Rage then passes his turn. Eli draws and goes right to combat. He swings his face down commander at Rage and Ledger Shredder at Levi. They both take it and Eli passes his turn. Levi draws and plays a Mana Crypt. Counterbalance triggers and Rage chooses not to reveal. Levi moves to combat and swings Omnath at J-Rock. He declares no blocks and takes four commander damage. Levi then passes his turn. J-Rock draws and casts an Esper Sentinel. Counterbalance triggers and Rage reveals an Ottawara Soaring City. Esper resolves and J-Rock passes his turn. Rage draws and plays an Ottawara as land for turn. He recasts his commander, Tivit. It ETBs and Rage gives himself two treasures. The rest of the board, scared of clues that can work with counterbalance, also give him treasures. He casts a Beseech the Mirror, sacrificing his Grim Monolith to bargain the spell. Esper, Ledger, and Lotho all trigger. J-Rock draws from Esper. Eli connives an Elvish Spirit Guide, giving Ledger Shredder an additional counter. Then Rage loses a life and creates a treasure through Lotho. Rage tutors up a Time Sieve into exile. Archivist triggers, and Levi gains a life and draws a card. Rage casts the Time Sieve from exile without paying its mana cost due to bargaining Beseech. He activates Time Sieve, sacrificing three treasures, his Talisman, and his Chrome Mox. In response, Levi channels Besaja who endures, destroying Time Sieve. It resolves, and Rage tutors up an underground sea onto the battlefield. Archivist triggers, and Levi gains a life and draws a card. Rage passes the turn to himself. Rage draws, and immediately goes to combat. He swings his commander at J-Rock. With no blocks, J-Rock takes six commander damage. Rage gives himself two clues this time, and the rest of the table give him treasures. Rage passes the turn. Eli draws and goes right to combat. Eli swings his face down commander at J-Rock. He takes it, and Eli passes his turn. Levi untaps, wins his mana crypt roll, and draws. He casts an arcane signet. Esper and counterbalance trigger. Levi pays for Esper, and Rage chooses not to reveal. He moves to combat and swings Omnath at J-Rock. J-Rock takes it and Levi passes his turn. J-Rock draws and casts a Mystic Remora. Counterbalance triggers and Rage reveals a Verdant Catacombs. In response, Levi pays two life and casts a Mental Misstep, targeting the fish. In response, J-Rock pays two life and casts his own Mental Misstep. Ledger Shredder, Lotho, and Counterbalance all trigger. Eli connives the Legolas's quick reflexes giving Shredder an additional counter. Rage loses a life and creates a treasure through Lotho, then with the counterbalance trigger on the stack, Rage cracks a clue, draws a card, and reveals the new top card, which is a command tower. Misstep counters Misstep, and the fish resolves. J-Rock attempts to pass, but in response, Rage cracks another clue, draws a card, and in the turn, moves to Rage. Rage draws and plays a Verdict Catacombs for turn. He moves directly into combat and swings Tivit at J-Rock again. With no blocks, he takes six more Tivit damage. Rage gives himself two more clues, and the rest of the table gives him treasures again. Rage casts a Talisman of Dominance. Esper and Mystic Remora both trigger. Rage pays for Esper and J-Rock draws through Mystic. He passes the turn. Eli draws and goes directly to combat. He swings his face down commander at Rage giving him two more commander damage. Eli passes the turn. Levi untaps, wins his Mana Crypt roll, and draws. He plays a Volcanic Island for turn. He moves to combat and swings Omnath at J-Rock. J-Rock takes four more commander damage and Levi passes the turn. J-Rock untaps, and in his upkeep, he pays for Mystic Remora. He draws and casts a Crow Mox. Counterbalance triggers, and Rage reveals a Pact of Negation on the top of his library, countering Crow Mox. J-Rock hangs his head in disgust and attempts to pass the turn. But in response, Rage attempts to crack a clue. In response to that, Eli casts a Mystical Tutor, knowing a zero drop is on top of Rage's library. Esper, Fish, and Counterbalance all trigger. Eli pays for Esper, and J-Rock draws through Fish. With the Mystical Tutor on the stack, Rage cracks another clue, draws a card, and then reveals through Counterbalance. He reveals a Polluted Delta. Mystical Tutor resolves, and Eli tutors up an Ad Nauseam to the top of his library. Archivist triggers, Levi gains a life, and draws a card. Rage's first clue activation goes back on the stack, and in response, he cracks his Verdant Catacombs, pays a life, and tutors up a Watery Grave. Archivist triggers again, Levi gains one life, and draws a card. The turn then moves to Rage. Rage untaps and plays a Command Tower for turn. He moves to combat and swings Tivit at J-Rock. He takes it and J-Rock is now at 18 Tivit damage. Rage votes to give himself clues and the rest of the table votes to give him treasures. Rage passes his turn. Eli draws and plays a Polluted Delta for turn. He cracks it, pays one life, and tutors up an Underground Sea onto the battlefield. 
Archivist triggers, Levi gains one life and draws a card. Eli moves to combat and swings his face down commander at rage. He takes it and Eli passes the turn. In his upkeep, Levi loses his crypt roll and takes three life. He draws and plays a plateau for turn. Omnath triggers and Levi gains four life. He casts a nature's lore. Counterbalance triggers and rage declines to reveal. Esper and Fish also trigger. Levi pays for Esper and J-Rock draws on Fish. Levi tutors a temple garden onto the battlefield, shocking it in. Omnath triggers and Levi adds Sans Black Wooberg. Levi then casts an Underworld Breach. Shredder, Lotho, Mystic Remora, and Counterbalance all trigger. Eli connives an Esper Sentinel into his graveyard, giving Ledger an additional counter. Rage then loses one life and creates a treasure token through Lotho. He reveals a Godless Shrine through Counterbalance. J-Rock draws through Remora. With Breach still on the stack, Rage casts a Pact of Negation. Esper and Fish both trigger, and Rage pays for them both. In response, Levi hard casts a Mind Break Trap, targeting the Pact. Fish triggers, and J-Rock draws. Counterbalance triggers, and in response, Rage cracks a clue, draws a card, and reveals a swan song. Mind Break Trap resolves and exiles Pact. With Breach back on the stack, Rage cracks his last clue and draws the known swan song. Still in response, J-Rock cracks his Ranger Captain, locking out his opponents from non-creature spells this turn. Breach then resolves and Levi escapes Eternal Witness from his graveyard. Counterbalance triggers and Rage reveals a Mystic Remora. Ewit ETBs and Levi returns Chain of Vapor to his hand. Levi then passes his turn. J-Rock untaps. He lets the fish die and draws for turn. He casts a Mox Diamond. It enters and he discards a Watery Grave. He plays a Plateau for land. Knowing that he is going to die to Tivit Beats if he passes the turn, J-Rock has to go for it right now. He casts a Thassa's Oracle. Ledger, Lotho, and Counterbalance all trigger. Eli connives a Demonic Tutor, giving Ledger an additional counter. Rage chooses not to reveal through Counterbalance, since we already know a Mystic Remora is on top. And then he loses a life and creates a treasure through Lotho. Thassa's ETB goes on the stack, and in response, J-Rock casts a Demonic Consultation. Counterbalance triggers and Rage shows the Mystic Remora on top. In response, J-Rock casts a Stifle, attempting to counter the Counterbalance. However, this is when he is reminded that Counterbalance will trigger again with the Stifle on the stack, countering the Stifle. J-Rock, knowing defeat is imminent, passes the turn. Rage untaps and goes immediately on to combat. He sends Tivit at J-Rock for lethal. J-Rock takes it and is eliminated. Rage chooses to give himself two clues and the rest of the table gives him two treasures. Rage casts a Mystic Remora. In response, Levi casts a Chain of Vapor, targeting his Eternal Witness. Counterbalance triggers, and Rage reveals a Fluster Storm, countering the chain. Rage passes his turn. Eli draws and plays a Bayou for land. He moves to combat and swings both his Face Down Commander and Ledger Shredder at Rage. Before damage, Rage responds by overloading a Cyclonic Rift. Eli moves through phases to his second main phase and recasts Ledger Shredder. Then, simply to get one card deeper through a Connive Trigger, he recasts Mox Diamond. Counterbalance, Lotho, Remora, and Shredder all trigger. Rage loses a life and makes a treasure through Lotho, draws a card through Remora, and then reveals through Counterbalance. He flips over Talion, Conley Lord. Then Eli connives Najila into the command zone, giving Shredder a counter. Mox Diamond enters, Eli does not discard a land card, and Mox Diamond is put into his graveyard. Eli passes the turn. Levi draws and casts a Mana Crypt. Remora and Counterbalance trigger. Rage draws from Remora first, then reveals a Muddle the Mixture on the top of his library. Levi casts Eternal Witness. Shredder, Lotho, and Counterbalance all trigger. Eli connives a Demonic Consultation, giving Shredder an additional counter. Rage loses a life and creates a treasure through Lotho. He declines to reveal through Counterbalance. Ewit enters the battlefield and Levi returns Besaju who endures to his hand. Levi shocks in a Steam Vents for turn, and then passes. Rage untaps and pays for Fish. He draws and goes immediately into combat. He swings Tivit at Levi and he takes the damage. Rage votes to give himself two clues and the other two both give him treasures. Rage then transmutes Muddle of the Mixture. In response, Levi flashes back in his Archivist of Agma. Counterbalance triggers and Rage reveals a Wishclaw Talisman, countering Archivist. Rage tutors and decides to just stop at the Wishclaw on the top of his library. He casts the Wishclaw. He activates it right away and gives it to Eli. Rage finishes tutoring and then casts a Teferi Time Raveler. Shredder and Lotho both trigger. Eli connives a Ranger Captain of Eos, giving Shredder another counter. Rage loses a life and creates a treasure through Teferi. He minuses Teferi, targeting the Wishclaw Talisman back to his hand. He recasts the Wishclaw. 
He activates it right away, giving it back to Eli. He tutors up and then casts a Displacer Kitten. He casts a Soul Ring. Kitten triggers, and he blinks to Fairy. He minuses to Fairy again, targeting his Soul Ring back to hand and drawing a card. Rage then demonstrates a loop of casting Soul Ring, blinking to Fairy with Kitten, minusing to Fairy to return Soul Ring to his hand and drawing a card. Rage creates a ton of colorless mana and is able to draw his entire deck. He then casts a Thassa's Oracle with an empty library. She ETBs, and Rage finally wins the game. Well, that was such a long, grindy game that we almost didn't want to post it. However, we decided as a group that while CEDH games are often won with fast combos, every once in a while, you have to buckle up for the long game. Counterbalance proved to be challenging to play through for all of Rage's opponents. He was able to mass a ton of advantage and eventually steamroll the table. Let us know in the comments what you liked or what you would like to see different. If you did enjoy the video, please like, subscribe, and share with your friends. And we will see you back on the stack.